So today I'm going to be performing a glamour service for you by using the double hair. Now, the reason why I like using double hair is I can do a whole head of lengthening in about 35 minutes. So obviously it's very quick, it's very easy to do, and you're putting the equivalent of 20 individual fillings in the space of one piece of double hair that you'll see me applying in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is match your hair colour with the chart. As you can see, we've got lots of lovely shades here. And uh, I think the perfect one for you is this 2527. It looks nice. Yeah, because you can see there's lots of different tones in there. So when I lay that in amongst your own hair, you can see it just brings out all the natural highlights of your own hair colour and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Now with double hair, we've actually got three different ways of fixing it in. And the first way is the clip system. Now the clip system, this is something that you can do every day yourself because this is just a temporary way of, of fixing them in. You just take the section, open the clip, put it in and close the clip again. So you can do that as often as you want to. But the way of fixing them in permanently, the first way is with the glue bond. But the way I'm going to be doing it for you today is the ring system. So it's these little tiny rings here. So again, it's much quicker. And we can do the whole head in about 35 minutes. So how we do that is we get our, our weft of hair. And as you can see, it's already laid out nicely in our applicator here. So we take the section of hair here. We line this up on the part in like that. And then once we've got that into the position there, I get two section clips and we clip the applicator onto the hair. So once that's firmly clipped into position, we then draw some of your hair through the center. So what we do is there be a piece of hair I take through here, and then there's another little eyelet there. Take another piece through that. So I'm going to be taking four pieces like this to start with, and then this is our last one just here. A little bit more added into that one there. So once that's all drawn in there, I'm going to be taking half of each of these in the center to join together, and I like to use the little disc to hold that separately to make it much more easier to cope with. So we take that half there and that half there, join those two pieces together, we slide that in up to there. Again, I just use a clip to hold that in position. So the next thing is we have our eyelet and as I showed you just now, once we've got our ring on here, I can hold that, draw your hair through the center, and we just get hold of the ring, slide that through. Your hair comes through the middle of the ring. I will slide that ring up as close in there as I can get that. We just crush that in nice and flat, and it just lays itself in. We can then take this off. And then this time, if you remember, I took that half from this section. I will then take half from that piece there. And again, we get our disc. Slide the hair on. And again, we just get your hair Take that through the center, slide that ring gently on like that, take it up to the head, crush, remove our disc. Now I'm going to come to this side here. So again, that's the half of where we started, and I just take half of that section, and again, our disc, slide that through, 
take that up to the head again. Crush down. Now this time, what I need to do, that's the half of the piece we left out, but I just need to get a little bit of hair from just outside of the weft. We draw that through. And again, we put our disc on to there. And the bit that's important with this one, and again, I'll be doing it on the other side, this is slightly over direct. So again, we'll load that up, draw that through there, and in. But instead of holding it just here, I just take it slightly into the middle, like that. So then that bond will stay inside the weft and not show on the outside, like that. So now we come to this side, and again, that was the half a piece that we left out. I come to just past the weft, draw that little bit of hair through, take my piece I want to join it with, and again you can see, instead of holding it here, I just come in a little bit. Get those two sections again through the center. And if you remember to just take it across a little bit and do that. So now we've got our five bonds in there. So when we look at it like that, one, two, the outer ones contain that small piece of hair from outside of the section, the three in the middle, and then between each one is where the weft is stitched together, so that's the bit that bonds it all in and holds it nice and firm. So we just take our clips off, like that, and then with our card, we just slide this away, and then taking our Balmain brush, we can just gently brush that through, and you can see now how that just lays itself in. And if I now just add some of our own hair over the top, like that. And again, when we brush this, bring that down. And you can just see now how all those lovely tones all just blend in there together. So here we are now with the, the finished double hair and uh, as we were showing you earlier on this is all done with the double hair and it's given fantastic volume and length and beautiful colour in there and I've styled it by using the wand and how I did that is just taking sections around the head, wrapping the hair away from the face on that side and then again away from the face on this side, just working my way through the head and then using the Balmain brush we just brush that through and just push it down into the waves and I'm sure now that as you look at yourself in the mirror, you can appreciate the beautiful colour and the length and all that extra volume that the double head has, has given for you. Yeah, I really like it. Thank you.